Solibri and Navisworks are the most common programs used for checking models. While both have similar functions, they each have a special features which make them better for certain types of projects or checks. So in this video, we will focus on three specific features presented in three rounds. In the first round, we are going to take care of file formats. The second will be about model checking capabilities of each program. And the third and final one will be about reporting of coordination issues. So, without further ado, let's start with the first round. round An one. important factor when choosing a coordination program is what file formats it can work with. Various programs uh, come from different software vendors, so their reading and saving capabilities differ from each other. So let's take a look at what Solibri and Navisworks has to offer in this regard. First, let's talk about Solibri. I have to admit that Solibri has very limited ability to read various types of file formats. In actually 95% of cases, you will use Solibri to work with IFC file format. You can also open DWG files and PDF files, but using these type of files in Solibri is relatively rare. It's worth noting that Solibri cannot read any popular native file formats, like for example RVT files from Revit or PLM from Archicad. This means if you want to check that your Revit model in Solibri, you first have to export it to IFC. And believe me, this isn't an easy task. It is essential to export a good quality IFC model. If we put a poor IFC model into Solibri, it will be quite challenging to check the BIM model correctly. In its defense though, Solibri is much better at working with IFC files than Navisworks. The loading time is much faster and also working with uh, IFC models in Solibri is smooth and more dynamic. However, Solibri also has limitations when saving files. It generally saves files to only one SMC format. Now let's look at the second corner of the ring. We have Navisworks Manage here. Navisworks can handle just about all relevant file formats used in the AAC industry. Because it's an Autodesk product, it can easily load files from other popular Autodesk programs like for example Revit, Inventor, Recap or 3ds Max. It can also work with file formats from other popular vendors such as Rhino or Katya, as well as open file formats like IFC. Although Navisworks can read a wide variety of file formats, it needs to be properly configured. I wouldn't recommend using the default reading settings. If you do it, you might not be able to see certain elements or information contained in the model. So for this reasoning, it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the various reader settings before you start importing different file formats into Navisworks. Navisworks can save up to two different file formats, NWD and also NWF. Uh, these files vary in size and also purpose. We can also export Navisworks models to popular 3D formats like FBX, 3D DWF, as well as KML format, which is a common format for sharing geographical data. So generally, when it comes to file formats and reading and saving capabilities, Navisworks is the definite winner of this. You. It is because of the versatile ability to open multiple data format, it is the one of the most widely used coordination programs. Okay, now let's move on to the next round. round this time we are going to compare the model checking capabilities of each software. When a BIM coordinator checks a model, he doesn't check the entire model all at once, but rather different parts of it. The model checks also differ from each other. Once we are checking, for example, if there are collisions between structural and electrical discipline models. Another time, we can validate if the fire rating information in architectural walls is correctly encoded. So let's see which of two programs make our job easier. First up, Solibri. Before we check a model using Solibri, we first need to create a checking rules. This allows us to define both which elements we would like to check and what type of check needs to take place. For example, do we want to check if the model elements clashes with each other? Do we want to check if the model data is consistent? Or whether model objects fulfill project accessibility requirements? 
In Solibri, we use the rule set manager to create our own rules. There are two windows that can help us with that. In rule set folders, uh, you have a list of pre-built rules that you can use on the fly to build up rules that meet your checking criteria. On the other hand, there is also a library window. Uh, in this window, Solibri has a long list of various rules. These templates can be used as is, as inspiration for creating your own rules. I must say that uh, Solibri has a huge amount of pre-built rules and templates to choose from. Some of them are quite easy to use, but others I still struggle with. But fortunately, there are help files available from the rule set manager for each rule. So learning how to use them is quite easy. At first, building rules in Solibri might seem a bit complicated, especially for those who are new to the program. But the benefit though is that you can do a greater variety of checks than in Navisworks Manage. Okay, now you see that Solibri kicks ass when it comes to model checking capabilities. This is actually up to us what we are going to check in Solibri. So if you are confident working with checking rules, then actually the sky is the limit when it comes to coordination. Now let's find out what Navisworks has to offer regarding model checking. Firstly, Navisworks doesn't have a dedicated tool to create checking rules as we have in Solibri. There are no pre-built templates or libraries that we can use to make them. We create rules using a fight item tool and also class detective tool or a combination of both depending on what we are trying to achieve. Unfortunately, the checking capabilities of these tools are quite limited in comparison to rule set manager from Solibri. I need to admit that Navisworks performs well when it comes to checking geometrical collisions. First, we create groups of elements that we want to test. To do this, we use a fight item tool where we build the necessary filters. Then in the next step, we usually save the filtered element groups as so-called search sets. Next, in the clash detective tool, we build appropriate clash tests that use these search sets to check for clash between uh, various model objects. It's worth mentioning that you can set up rules in Navisworks via rules tab. So there are rules in Navisworks. Unfortunately, these are limited to ignore rules. So we can only use them to ignore elements that are found by the clashing process. Okay, so we talked about checking geometry in Navisworks, but when it comes to coordinating component information or checking model data consistency, I have to say that Navisworks falls short. For example, if you need to see if an element contains the right properties or has the right values, you need to use the fight item tool. This tool only selects items uh, that, for example, have missing or inconsistent information. Then we need to use a selection inspector tool or a quantification tool to list all the results. But then, unfortunately, we can't create checking issues from this list of results. Such a workflow is very hard to maintain and work with. In addition, I have to say that Navisworks isn't able to do advanced checks that are easily done in Solibri, such as, for example, accessibility validation, value comparison validation or space validation, and actually much, much more. So in this round, a clear winner is Solibri. You it not only win. has advanced features that help in comprehensive model checking, but Solibri has also a rich database of ready-to-use rule templates that facilitate coordination activities and you can adjust them to your own needs. Okay, now let's move on to the last, final round of our comparison match. This time let's compare how both programs handle reporting of coordination issues. Final round! During the coordination period, BIM coordinators create issues found in the model. All these issues are added to the report which are then sent to the various disciplines responsible for their resolution. Solibri offers us a few file formats used for reporting. We can save a report in BCF, which stands for BIM Collaboration Format, which is an open BIM format specially created for storage coordination. In addition to BCF, we can also export reports as PDFs, RDFs and also Excel spreadsheet documents. I need to admit that I'm not a fan of doing this, as these are rather static documents that are not connected to the 3D model in any way. On the other hand, when someone opens a BCF issue in their modeling software, they are directed to the same view in their model. 
For this reason, I use most of the time BCF format for creating issue reports. What's more, we can also combine Solibri with tools such as issue managers, with, which help us manage coordination issues. Thanks to those cloud applications like BIM Collab, BIM Truck, we can send coordination reports seamlessly without generating report files. So for this task, we use the BCF Live Connector tool in the Solibri, which connects directly to Issue Manager platform via API. I have to say that I use Issue Manager's applications on a daily basis, and I need to admit that I can't imagine coordinating a project without them anymore. Now let's look at the other corner. In Navisworks, sending reports of coordination issues is done using the Report tab found in the Clash Detective tool. Navisworks also has several options for saving reports. A report can be saved as a simple XML file, text file, as well as HTML file. What's more, we can also export issues as viewpoints and have them stored in a save viewpoint window. But unfortunately, as you can see, even the 2022 Navisworks edition doesn't support saving reports to the BCF format. To do so, you will need to install a paid plugin. I have no idea why Autodesk didn't include this as a standard option. They're always promoting themselves as a supporter of open beam movement. Why then still by default there is no BCF support in Navis? Actually, I don't know and in my opinion, this is a big drawback. Fortunately, like Solibri, Navisworks has the ability to connect to issue managers like BIMTrack, Revisto or BIMCollab. This is done by installing special add-ons which then are visible in the ribbon panel. After installation, we can send our issue reports to the issue management platform stored in one place on the cloud. This connection is seamless, so we don't need to create any additional report files like HTML reports or XML reports. Okay, to summarize, in this round, we don't have a clear winner. Surely a big plus for Solibri is the built-in ability to write reports to the BCF, uh, in this regard, Solibri wins slightly, but apart from that, both tools perfectly integrate with popular issue management tools, which makes them a complete solution for BIM coordinators. So after three rounds, you would probably want to hear a final definitive verdict. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but there isn't a clear winner here. Both programs are really good BIM coordination tools. While Solibri has more possibilities than Navisworks for checking BIM models and adjusting the coordination to our needs, it is limited to only opening IFC models and DWG files, and also PDF files. On the other hand, a big plus for Navisworks is that it's able to open many different file formats. This program also has a lot of different useful features that Solibri doesn't, such as, for example, creating 4D construction sequences and animations. So, how to decide which program to use? This depends on which features are most important to you, as well as the type of the project you will be working on. For example, if it's an infrastructure project where IFC open formats uh, aren't used at all, it makes sense to use Navisworks. However, if it's a building project where the use of open BIM file formats is required, Solibri will be, I think, the better choice. I hope that after watching this video, you will have a bit clearer idea of which program to use for which project. 